Now, I also have apiaries up here, which I probably shouldn't touch because they're Meowkity 17's little things. And, uh, however, I can't really approach that one over there because that currently has a uh, held bee, and I'm not wearing apiarist's clothes. Just as an example. I go close to it, and it's probably going to start stinging me. Or not, because there's nothing there. Huh. It was moved. Ah, there it is. It's an embittered queen. Kind of annoying to go near. Hurts. A lot. It takes like three, two or three hearts of damage every single time, and it does it every few seconds. Very, very annoying. Never got around to figuring out what I was did the liquiducts for. I built them all, I was like, oh, I'm gonna use these. Oh, wait. Ah, I remember now. Uh, something else I can do. The reason I'm building up lava is the igneous extruders are useful for one more thing. If I just head downstairs, I just have like holes in the corners. The igneous extruders are useful for one more thing, is they have multiple modes of what they can make. They can make cobble, for completely for free, as long as there's lava and water in them. They can make stone, which uses the water. And they can make obsidian, which uses the lava. Um, and the water as well, I'm not entirely sure. But, the um, cobble's free, however if I want to make obsidian, I can pipe in water as much as I want, because I have a accumulator up top. Which means this thing will stay full permanently. However, this I need to create lava. So I have limited supplies. At the moment I have literally two milli two thousandth of a bucket under two hundred and five buckets worth of lava. Always annoying when there's that tiny bit. And the reason for that is is because I switched one of these to stone temporarily, and it does use lava, but at an incredibly slow rate, whereas it uses the water much more so. And it made like one stone, used two millibits, and now the numbers are off. Damn it. Now, this level of cobble is slowly rising. If I wanted to make a full-on recycling system, I'll need a few more than of these igneous extruders. I'm also going to fill in this floor at some point. I just got into the habit of hacking out the floor for like these tanks and stuff. But, igneous extruder. I'll make cobblestone. I will recycle. But I can show you an example over at my clan base. Or well, the clan I'm now in. They've built a system for this. However, they use it for something else. Run down here. I believe it's over this way. Yeah, here we go. Now, over here we have a very large amount of igneous extruders, all of which are producing cobble going through this system. Uh, a is taking them where they need to go. In this particular case, they're taking them to three recyclers, which, by the sounds of the pulsing, run very, very overclocked. All of that scrap is then taken back, processed, and turned into fertilizer here, which, uh, judging by this connection, is then taken to these to fertilize the growth of these trees and hack them up like crazy. This is effectively what I want, however, I'm doing on a smaller tree's oak, to be exact, because I need charcoal. Um, however, if they have the power to run a system like this, I'm pretty sure they've already got something like this at their own place. Uh, only reason I say this is someone else in their own place is because there's a tesseract here. It's obviously someone else's power doing this. There's some energy cells powering the harvester down here. There's a series of harvesters all the way up. All of them feeding into ender chests, rather than having to pipe everything. It's a lot easier. Because this damn thing is so tall. The harvester doesn't harvest all the way up. Oh, tree in my face. The harvester doesn't harvest all the way up. Uh, the planter plants where it can. The harvester harvests. They've probably got upgrades in them. I don't know. I can't access them. I, I, it says I can, but I, it doesn't actually come up with anything. It just comes up with a G, standard GUI and no information. Yeah, these things are just producing cobble like crazy. I, I dread to think how much cobble's in this DSU, because this can only extract one every, uh, one every fifth of a second, and I'm pretty sure more than five cobble is coming in per second here. Probably more like 50. This is an insane amount of these. Oh, it's, what, six by six this is. I have no idea how fast they produce that, but... No, no, it's a bit more than six by six. This is uh, six by seven minus one because of this. So that's 40, 41? 41 igneous extruders? 
That's quite a lot. No, back to home. Now, this is all very well and good and stuff, but I actually have to make these things and show you how, how to make various things like this. Someone has energetic bees. Oh, God. Yeah, if there's lightning during the day and it's not raining and stuff like that, it's energetic bees. I know it's not raining because I have the rain on. Unlike most of the people who usually have to turn it off for lag purposes. Pretty, pretty fountain. Anyway, now that I've moved everything out from down there, I'm probably going to use that giant pit somewhere because it feels like a wasted effort of digging if I don't use it. Um, also, I do need to move this l liquid ender somewhere else. So... Uh, molten ender. Um, hmm... I know what I could do. I could build liquid tesseracts. Now, that will use up some of the liquid endo, but also means I can move this, and I can show you how to build tesseracts. In this particular instance, as I can show you, you have tesseract frame, unattuned tesseract, and you take the unattuned tesseract and you make these. Now, I actually only know how to make an energy tesseract, I've never built one of these before. But that's not hard to figure out. This is all the particular process of it. However, I need diamond and hardened glass, which means I'm going to need to pulverize more obsidian. Maybe I shouldn't have used all of that obsidian. Now, I could tell my... I could tell my... Uh, lovely, lovely igneous extruders to make obsidian, but I don't have the crazy much lava at the moment, and... Actually, I have all the liquid up piping I need. Why not? Have to fly back over there again. Now, the only thing here is it's a bit fiddly to deal with this because mostly I'm going to have to tell them to stop making anything. Wow, well, not stop making, not stop making anything. But how do I stop them? How do I stop them? Crap. Um, I guess I'm just got to switch them to obsidian mode. takes a while, but... <sighs> Alright, now change that back to cobble. Now, that won't use the remaining ones. Change that back, change that back, change that back now, and change that back now. Now I'm going to have random obsidian in the system, I'm going to have hack this out, and all this piping, and reset it, but it means I have obsidian. I'm experiencing a little bit of lag here. Thank you for that. Uh, now I need to, like, seriously put all this piping back now before it starts throwing cobble in my face everywhere. There we go. And also I need to change these things' directions. There we go. That's it all done again, and it's still bouncing some cobble over here. However, I now have another 18 obsidian. Very useful. Oops. Nearly stood on my Xbox controller. Never a good idea to whack one of these machines with a Omni wrench. Sometimes they move. Yeah, these things will happily, as long as they've got some lava and some water in them, they'll happily continue making cobble all day long. Oh dear, I need to hit that one. There we go. That's better. Now, this can take back its cobble like it needs to. And I happily have my obsidian still. Uh, I would pipe this up. Like the. The blue all on the bottoms here. I would pipe this up from here, but as these are still running, so no need for the moment. So much lava. Now, uh, run, run like the wind. Something I hope really doesn't go in the update is these uh, lovely, lovely um, ceramic, ceramic dyed windows. 
I find they're quite a nice little aesthetic sometimes, especially on a building of this size. Uh, the good thing is the multiple colours can actually attach to each other, so in this particular instance I have... Uh, they don't just automatically take up the whole thing if I remove this, they would act like normal panes and then you end up with like half a pane here. But they attach to each other quite happily, so we can end up with stuff like this. And you can effectively make full-on stained glass windows, and I'm considering making one at some point. Wrong floor. Ah, wrong pillars. Oh dear. Still wrong floor. It's a problem with having everything so scattered. Eventually I will be pulling all my machines together uh, in a useful way. That's the induction smelter. Wrong one. Go with just the 16 obsidian to begin with. I could do with more lead. So. Just use 8, so. You go in there. I love my induction furnace so much faster than the uh, other furnaces from other mods. Uh, technically, actually, you can overclock a normal electric furnace and it will use less energy and go faster than an induction furnace. However, I just need to take a drink. Um, however, I find this rather useful because you can cook more than one thing at once. Uh, people say, uh, although the electric furnace goes faster, the induction furnace does have two slots. Pulverized obsidian. Uh, two lead ingots for the four there. There we go. Uh, I would need eight in total, and because one's already been consumed to do the process, there's seven left. It's a bit weird when it does that. It's like oh, eat them preemptively, because most of the mods don't do that. They eat the in uh, eat the ingredients at the end. Plenty of hardened glass to begin with, at least. Now, first thing we've got to do is build the Tesseract frame, which is diamond, hardened glass, and tin. I'm not entirely sure if we even have one diamond, which is kind of bad. I, I have a tendency to use up all our diamonds doing crazy things, but we do have a diamond! We have one today. Excellent. However, we need two Tesseracts, so we do need the second diamond. I'm curious, do we have a stack of coal anywhere? Uh, 19, that's the beginning. We have a good old coal one. Do oh yeah, stack of coal. Here we go. Uh, where's our flint? Uh, I'm going to need. How much flint is it again? Oh, I've got to remember this process. It's been a while. Uh, I'm going to need eight flint and a single brick block. I believe we have bricks somewhere. There we go. One, two, three, four. You need four for a brick block. Okay. Now here's a nice little wonderful thing that both Tekka and Tekafi can do. Macerate the hell out of quite a lot of coal. Uh, my macerator didn't go fast enough for me, so I overclocked it. This will take a while. However, I will show you the beginning of the process as soon as eight are done. Now, the thing is here, is what we want. Is one a single flint, surrounded by eight coal dust. That makes a coal ball. This coal ball then needs to go into the compressor. We can compress the coal ball. Great nomenclature. Now the compressed coal ball then also goes around these bricks, uh, and then when you have all of them, it'll make a coal chunk, and you compress that, and that becomes a diamond. So, we're still waiting on more coal dust here. I'll just add them up as we go. Oh, I'm moving my mouse enough. Do, 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 do. Another two coal balls. Wait for the rest of it to be done. Come on! Right, so, got another eight there, so that's another two. Oh, now I can make another one again. 
for this to be done. There we go. Eight. Right, so that's another five. Throw these into the compressor. Uh, plenty of moving around at high speed. If I'm moving too fast, just leave a comment or something. I do move around an awful lot. Right, there we go. That's another two coal balls. Throw them in the compressor. Come on. Don't freeze. There we go. Right. Now, if you'll let me, compress the coal balls all the way around the edge. And bricks in the centre. Coal chunk. And now for the magic moment. This took an entire stack of coal. But. Ta da! Diamond! And it gives you experience in everything. Beautiful. Now I have two diamonds. I'll go down, down and check on the obsidian down below. Quickly check on my gem pack. Make sure I'm not going to like fall to my death at some point, like I have done so many times. Here we go. Now I just need two more hardened glass, which I think will be produced just now. This is the last. There we go. That's all hardened glass we need for the moment. And I uh, also need some tin. Yep, tin it is. Come here, tin. Where are you? I know we have tin somewhere. Ooh, that's something I haven't checked. The diamond chest. There's some tin. I keep forgetting I'm putting all the like important resources in the diamond chest on a regular basis now. Now, uh, we have our tin. Diamond, hard glass, two tesseract frames, very useful. Uh, I'm making a priority not to keep anything in the project table so I don't lose anything when the update comes because I've no idea if the items in the project table will remain there. After all, it's an entirely different type of uh, block. Now we want to make liquid tesseracts in this instance, so we'll have to do that. But first, we have to build an unattuned tesseract, take our tesseract frame, and put this in our liquid transposer. Now, I'm going to need to go nab that energy cell from down below. Uh, you're done, so I'll take you off. And shift, right click, bye bye energy cell. Doesn't mean these other cell things will be bereft of energy for the moment. But, uh, should be okay. Now place that there, this thing gains energy, and as soon as it gains enough, it will start the process. There we go. Well, it takes a while, but it will do it. But in the meantime, while it does that, we'll have to prep a tank for the unattuned energy, uh, for the liquid tesseracts, for the contents to go into build our first molten ender tank. I think I have other bits of wall as well, but I'm just going to hack up some of this. It's amazing just how much of this stuff I've made, um, but also I can show you how to make some of this stuff as well. Uh, good thing is this stuff going to be hacked up with good old picks or drills. And smart moving is still active, so I can still fit into one by one spaces. However, I try and hack out as much as I can. Okay. Oh, did it. Falling off. Just keep going around. Now, even the smallest tank uh, requires uh, not uh, a substantial amount, but I don't know. If, if you don't have much iron, it's not something you'll be able to build easily. Uh, I have managed to accumulate enough iron to build nearly two full tanks, like the biggest size ones. Um, there we go. Just glass to come up now. Now I think 41 is good enough to, to build another 5x5x5 five five by five tank. Seems a good standard size to do things in, until I need greater storage. don't really need large storage for just about anything at the moment. 
there we go. Right. I'll hack all that up at a later date and go see if we have any more iron tank wall anywhere. Uh, not in this chest. That's the thing. Ah, iron tank wall, there we go. Useful. Now, where to go and build this tank? I think we'll go build it over here with our power plant. Because I also intend to build a factory at one point. And with liquid tesseracts we can move around whatever we need to. Just fall down here. And uh, the igneous extruders are there, so I'm going to put the little molten ender here. Come on. One, two, three, four, five. So it'll be a five by five. Oh dear. Ah. Most annoying. Bob break lag. Uh, by five. Ah, running out of power. There you go. Good thing about drills that just cut through dirt like no tomorrow. Hmm. At least the server seems to have settled now. There's no more random disconnections for me. And I randomly got on a PM. That's really weird. <laughs> I see you, wrong chat. Yeah, I'm not paying particularly massive amounts of attention to the chat at the moment. I have no idea what's being said. Could be anything. Right. So, here's the iron tank base. And now to hack out the ceiling for it. Good thing is, majority of it's dirt, so it comes up pretty easily. Ooh, dear. Including that. So I have to kind of like back up and make sure I don't go too close to that. There we go. Right, uh, five, five by five. Oh, that's a bit. Uh, that's five by six. Sorry, now these are all five by five by six. Thanks. That's only only four more blocks than before. There we go. However, it's not going to be as much blocks as many blocks as I thought. You go there, and one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm going to need more iron tank wall and another valve. I'm going to be lazy and teleport. Let's see. Oh! Ah, yeah, I forget about that. Ow. Well, it would appear I am out of iron tank wall, and I'm not going to start hacking up that tank, because that's got honey in it. So, I think it's time to break up the rolling machine and start building proper tank pieces again. If I can find the rolling machine. I'm pretty sure it's in one of the chests up here. Oh yeah, an example of the things the rolling machine can make. Steel plate. Well, there's an iron plate. In fact, iron plate is what we're going to be making. A rolling machine, come out, come out, wherever you are. Seriously, where the hell is it? I have no idea. Uh, I think it might be in this chest down here, because I'm pretty sure I used it for that and so before. Nope, not here. Ah, I know where it is. Uh, I call my, I just call the teleport to my power plant energy. Simple, easy to remember, and I'm upstairs. I don't need to be here. Uh, there we go, front door. I believe it is one of these. Oh, more iron tank wall, useful. Uh, so I need another three or so. Is it not up here? 
Is it? Oh, I know where it is. I must have walked right past it. I am so silly. There you go. It's already there, attached to an energy cell. Okay. Process of making uh, iron tank wall. In this particular case, click iron plate. You can put more in, it'll do it automatically, but it doesn't do the last set automatically. You have to click it. And so, say for instance, I would put an extra set in now, it'll continue. There we go, iron plate. Now, to make the iron plate into iron tank wall, just normal crafting, like so. You can also make that, which is low pressure boiler, but I don't want that. I want iron tank wall. Now, I don't need much, so I'll leave it at that. And as usual within things like Tekkit, my inventory is getting very full about now. Right, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Alright, that's the shell made. Now, I could fill in the roof, but I'd rather use glass for that. I'm not going to put any valves in the roof. However, I am going to put valves in the right hand side. Now, I put one at the bottom for extraction and one at the top for putting liquid in. If you were to put a um, valve in the bottom, it would only be capable of filling up to the first level, like first block. So in this particular case, it would be about a quarter of the tank. Um, however, you put it up here, it can fill the tank the whole way. Now, just fill in the glass. Uh, center of this is hollow, like most other things around here, like the cog of governs, center block is hollow, blast furnaces, center two blocks are hollow. Um, blast furnaces is a 3x3x4 three three thing, whereas these are 3x3x3, three three three, uh, as you can see. And I've just come across iron, why not? Extra iron is always useful. There we go, there's the rest of it. This, this, this is the thing, I, I'm not supposed to mine massively, but it's random resources right here, just why not? Uh, also, I try to fill these things in, it's not like I'm in short supply of cobble at the moment. Right, so... Oh, nope, that's hardened glass, not what I want. Iron tank gauge... Uh, only thing I find annoying about any eye, it's going to hand me the wrong item every time it bloody can. Very annoying. Alright, okay, now I want to drill an access port here. Something I'm going to miss about smart moving is being able to drill these one by one holes for whatever reason I need them for. And uh, I'm going to have to stand on top of here, drill the third one. Right, and be able to crawl in here. Very careful maneuvering. Uh, I'm going to build a series of liquid ducts out so that I can gain access to this whenever I need to, for whatever reason I need to. And I'm going to build some liquid ducts in. However, I'm going to need to place a redstone torch here, strategically. Uh, I don't currently have one on me though. It's okay. Place that for um, liquid going out whenever I need to. Now, the tank's ready. Let's go check on our tesseracts. Oh, running out low on food. Steak! <laughs> Lovely steak. Now, the liquid transposer should be done, unattuned tesseract, there we go. Now, we want to make liquid tesseract, which is four tin, oh no, I apologise, tin, uh, pneumatic servers, silver, and copper. Oh, silver. That's the thing, do I have any of that? I have tin, I have copper, just going to play, dump a load of stuff in this chest, running out of space, Um do I have any silver though? That is different. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I know I have silver ore, but I'm pretty sure I have silver ingots somewhere. If it doesn't come up though, there's no worry about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
So all five of them, that'll do. Go silver. Right, that's the silver done. Uh, right, tin, silver, copper. Now, pneumatic servo, however, is iron, redstone, and glass. So, I also need glass, normal glass, not hardened. Where my glass is gone, nobody knows. Uh, I have three, that will do. And I also need redstone. I have all the materials I need. Oh, project bench is being used, I can't use that. Uh, it'll come up saying, no, oh, two players can't use the same project bench at the same time, which means I'm going to need to go elsewhere. Oh, can I use it now? Nope. Uh, um, uh, fortunately, I have another crafting table over in my power plant. Which is kind of where I need to be at the moment. Place the receiving end. Right, uh, let's start crafting. Glass, iron, and redstone. Ah, shaped, my bad. There we go, pneumatic servo. Now we need pneumatic servo. Ah, I need two of these, don't I? Ah, I don't have enough glass. Damn. Single block of sand ought to do it. Lovely music to accompany me. Sand. Glass. There we go. Can I use it yet? I can! Right, excellent. Uh, nope, again, glass goes there and there. Iron goes there. And redstone there. Pneumatic server. Um, little known trick uh, on this is when you press R, it comes up with a recipe of how to make it. Uh, in this case, it uh, also rearranges your entire inventory, which is kind of annoying when you're it's not in order. So you press R over it, it'll come up with the recipe for it. However, if you press U over it, it comes up for all its uses. In this particular instance, igneous extruder, aqueous accumulator, tesseracts, and that's it. Just the two tesseracts, item tesseract and liquid tesseract. Now, pneumatic servos, unjune tesseract, two copper, two silver, and two tins on each side, and we've got two liquid tesseracts. Now, the reason we have two is because you need a sender and a receiver. In this case, we what we want is uh, one there, and uh, we need to create a channel uh, in this particular high. In this particular one, it's... Um, public, so I need to lock it, and it comes up with my channels only. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go with 15, just random. Uh, I'm going to call this particular one Ender, because why not? So, oddly enough, it comes up with this Ender effect. Right, and the second one, I will go play it over now. Because it's private, I can now pipe in and it will refuse anything else until I change this thing's configuration. I'm going to place the other end first though. Head downstairs again and we can now place this liquid tesseract here. And lock it. Set to that channel, which is mine. Now this thing will now accept. The other end. Uh, home. home. Now, I'm going to rearrange this thing, configuration, so uh, that it sends out this liquid. Now this needs to be blue, and 
doesn't seem to want to send it, which means I'm going to have to power it out. In this particular instance, that means hacking up my Tesseract. Adding another piece of Liquiduct. Now, I would be able to just change this by, like, whacking this. However, I need to change its orientation like that. And I need to put a redstone torch there. However, that would also change the other side as well, if it was still attached to the Tesseract by just one block. So I need one that's a receptor as well as the one that's a uh, sender. Again, uh, every time you put it down, you have to lock it and set it to particular frequencies. In this case, like that. Now, if I set it to that mode, and I find a redstone torch, if I can, and the lag won't stop me. Thank you. There is some hell of a lag. Come on! No, I've got no torches, so I'll just have to quickly make some. Stick! Redstone, torches, all good. Now, I'm not going to put the redstone next to the redstone torch next to the tesseract because that and this would both shut off. Um, or here and here, and then just the tesseract will shut off, so I'm going to place it here. And nothing's happening! Fun times! Why is nothing happening? Okay, that's different. No. Ah, I see him. It's meant to be yellow. There we go. Connected and sending. Now I head to the other end because both ends are within range of themselves. And you get. Go over here. in again, head down, and it has been sent, 2,250 Molten Ender. And that is the idea behind Tesseracts. Uh, that's the liquid one, and the one upstairs is an energy one, maybe next time I'll do um, item Tesseracts. Until then, bye!